Thank you for booking with Elora Wrappings Incorporated. This is everything you need to know for your tubing the gorge experience. You should by now have a properly fitted helmet and PFD. If you do not, go see our staff to get some. If your tubes do not fit in your car and they probably don't, you will need to deflate them. Don't deflate the backrest. The way to deflate the main chamber is through the Boston valve located beside the backrest. If you take the top part of the Boston valve off, nothing happens. You need to take off the entire Boston valve and it'll deflate right down to put in your vehicle. Don't lose the Boston valve. Best way not to lose it, simply screw it right back on so that you can inflate it later when you get to the park. We gave you a portable electric pump to be able to inflate your tubes. Test this pump before you leave. Plugs right into the 12-volt charger of your car. In order to inflate your tube when you get to the park, simply put the nozzle right inside the Boston valve about one minute per tube of inflation. When you think it's fully inflated, leave it in for another 10 seconds. You cannot pop it with these pumps, but you do want to get as much air in as possible. There are three main things that tend to puncture tubes. Number one, car doors and trunks. So please be careful loading and unloading your tubes. Number two, sharp pointy objects, sticks, stones, rocks, river debris. Stay away from that stuff. And finally, number three, please do not drop a deflated tube on the pavement. Sometimes the Boston valve hard plastic will bite through the bottom of the tube if you slap it down to the pavement. Put it down gently, fill it up with air, and you'll be good to go. When you get to the park, you will pay an additional park entry fee and no alcohol is allowed in the park. When you get to the tubing pavilion, you're going to go up to the tubing pavilion to pay for your tubing registration wristbands. You will not be allowed on the river until you get a tubing registration wristband paid for at the tubing pavilion. You are then all set to go tubing. When you get to the launch, the first rapid will be right in front of you. That's the big one. It can eject you from your tube. Watch the guinea pigs in front of you and decide if you want to put into the river above upstream of that rapid or skip it and simply put in below downstream of that rapid. You have about a 45 minute to an hour and a half long float with numerous rapids and calm sections along the way. At the end of your float, you're going to exit the river back to your car or because you have the gear all day, simply skip by your car and go back up to the float to do as many times as you please. The equipment must be returned by 6 p.m. to avoid our $30 per person late fee. Please do not be late. Enjoy your journey.